Imagine you sent your nine-year-old to school in the morning to go learn. And then when they come back in the afternoon, they kept on complaining, Mom, my back is aching. Mom, I have a headache. Mom, all sort of complaints. You ask them, you ask them, what is wrong? They couldn't say. You kept on asking what is wrong, they couldn't say. And then you asked more, they couldn't say. You went to the principal's office, you complained, nobody told you what was wrong. You waited for a fever to come on so you can say, okay, maybe they are down with flu or maybe they have malaria. But nothing happened. Two days later, on the street or social media, you saw this video. Where is our school? What's the name of your school? See children that are them to carry this kind of heavy stuff. Oh yeah, drop it. You didn't get what is happening. I don't want to know. Do you hire them? Do you hire them? Do you hire them? Is there any problem? There's problem. This small small children. No, it's not heavy. I don't know the one putting it on. It's not heavy. This is not heavy. Drop it. You should go back to your school. Or else I'm calling police on you. I will. I will. Why would they carry the small small children? Small small children to come. Which man? Yeah, you are doing this. This allegation. What that moment don't pass sorrow. See what you are doing. They should carry. See, oh, look what they are doing. Oh. Look what they are doing. You can't even hire. This is a private school. If you are a private school, madam. So tell me, let's just say this is an open space. As a parent, let's say coincidentally, the same school that was trending on this video is the same school your kid attends. Let me know down below in the comment section, you as a parent, what will you do? What will you do when you see your son put through hard labor for his school? A son that you sent to school to go learn A, B, C, D and how to count one, two, three. And then you saw a video of him carrying a bucket of rock as a parent, what will you do? Because if I'm a parent today, if I become a parent today and I send my son or my daughter to school to learn and I see him or her carrying a bucket of rock, it gets closed for that school. The school may not shut down, but you see the principal, the person, the principal in question, the, the corporate who uses children, who, 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 who utilizes child labor in this country, Nigeria. As hard as the country is, yes, we know the country is hard, but that doesn't warrant you using kids kids that were sent to your school to do hard manual labor yes punish there are punishment that you give to students that requires them to do manual labor i remember during our time we used to cut grasses we used to cut grasses by the field every friday that's normal every friday once it's one o'clock you get your machete it's straight to the uh, straight to the field and uh, when you are late to school or when a senior wants to punish you the best punishment is for you to kneel down or go cut the grass Yes, the grass might have been cut, but for punishment, go cut it. So, I don't understand why a teacher, a principal, for that matter, will resort to using kids 9 year old, 10 year old. These kids are just in their 9 and 10. So, tell me why a principal of a school will use child labor in a country like Nigeria. And then when you ask her, when you confront the teacher, the only thing that she's telling you is no but nothing is wrong with it nothing is wrong with it i shake the bucket it's not that hard it's not that strong it's not it's easy for them to carry it is easy for them to if it is if it is easy for them to carry how many of these kids are yours that's the question i have to ask how many of these sweet kids that you are using for manual labor are yours i'm i'm asking this question to the teacher how many of the kids are yours are yours and then again how many of these kids that you are using did your parents pay like we know in nigeria there is levels to kids if your father is rich there are certain amount of job you do in school so how many of these kids have rich parents that's another question that i have to ask again and then for the for the teacher saying nothing is wrong with it do you have conscience at all do you have conscience at all saying that nothing is wrong with nigeria kid carrying a bucket of heavy rock guys i'll have to end this discussion here but let's continue it in the comment section as a parent your son comes back from school and complains that his whole body or her whole body is hurting and then you go online and you see this video trending what will you do as a parent let me know down below and don't forget if this is your first time coming across my channel give this video a massive like subscribe and turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video you know what we do here we get trending topic and i share my opinion and i would like you to 
also do the same share your opinion down below in the comment section let's have a dialogue i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye